watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh. Sitting down now is Zach Onisco. He's the CEO of Dribble, an online community for web designers. Why do these designers want to share their work? I mean, if I was designing something cool and unique, maybe I wouldn't want to share it with others. Yeah, it's, it's actually uh, a community. So it turns out like getting feedback on design is, is something that designers you know, thrive and, and want to continue to improve their craft. So Dribble's really that platform for designers to share screenshots, uh, of the work and the projects they're working on, get feedback from the community. The other benefit is that there's a lot of hiring managers that come to Dribble and they see the work the designers are doing and they're like, hey, I want to hire that designer. If I post my design, how much feedback am I going to get? I mean, it's, it's a pretty active community. So we were actually founded in 2009, so coming on our ninth year now. Um, and 28 million people visited Dribble last year. So it's actually a pretty engaged, thriving community. So. If you're going to post some work, get, get used to getting some feedback and, and hopefully a lot of likes. And who are these designers? Are, you know, are they Joe Schmo sitting in his basement or are these really prominent guys? We have the full gamut. You know, we have uh, a lot of rock star designers, folks who work at Airbnb and Facebook and Google and, and Apple. And we have folks that are independent freelancers who are hired guns. But typically the, the community is uh, higher quality, so intermediate to, to professional level designers. Is the freelance life really the one that you're promoting? Yeah, so we today we have uh, probably the world's largest job board for designers. It's, it's highly engaged and, and we get a lot of activity. Uh, but we actually bought a, a freelance uh, marketplace uh, last spring and we're doing a lot to invest and to reinvent uh, that company to be a marketplace for freelancers to more efficiently get jobs at some of these top companies who want to hire them. Do most web designers want to freelance? We did a poll about six months ago. 70% uh, of dribblers said they freelance in the last six months. So we have a pretty massive population of freelancers on our platform. Now you yourself said that you do not have the headquarters. You guys all work from home. Is yeah. that the case? Yeah, yeah. How does that work out? Well, it's kind of the future of work. You know, the, it's, it's funny that you know a lot of us work on the internet, yet we commute multiple hours every day to go sit in an office where coworkers are distracting us and you know we're very much into uh, a culture where we can work wherever we want. We have an employee who actually travels in her van and works out of coffee shops in different cities you know all over North America. Um, our team is spread out all over North America. Um, for me, I was taking the train to work to San Francisco for years. Now I wake up, I send my kids off to school and I get ready for work and I you know, can start when my, my brain's sharp in the morning and, and can start executing right away. I found that we're actually much more efficient working remote because we actually can lock in and hone in on the work we're trying to accomplish than the distractions we get from an office.